Okay, so for this series, I am starting off with a toy suitcase for Korea. We are moving to South Korea, so before our stuff gets there, we will have to be staying in a hotel room. Well, I have a six-year-old and an eight-year-old that are going to be bored out of their minds. So I'm going to have to have some toys to come along with us. So I thought, you know, what better way to bring the toys than to just have a toy suitcase where they know exactly where the toys are, they can use it as a toy box in the hotel room. So I have brought their two quilts that my mom made for them. Um, I thought this would be something to use in the hotel room if they couldn't get to sleep. It smells like home. It's the comfort of home in a strange place. I thought that would be great for them to have, so I packed that in there. Then I have three Barbie dolls for Gracie and Anna and Elsa. Then I have three books for both of them. They're really into Dr. Seuss right now. They're um, really loving those books, so that was an easy guess as to which books to pack. Then for Jack, I have a wrestler, all his Imaginex, well, some of his Imaginex toys, a Ninja Turtle, and an Elvis doll, which he decided he wanted to pack in there. Okay, so here it is, all packed up. I have the two blankets on the bottom. I have Gracie's toy section off to one side and Jack's toy section off to the other side. That way they do not fight about where their toys go. They have a section. I have the books over to the bottom. And I just thought this was a great idea to have a toy suitcase to be a toy box in the hotel room. That way they don't have their toys mixed in with their clothes in their other suitcase and this can be um, a toy box for them in the hotel room when they're picking up their toys they have a place to put them and this will just be so much easier um, for them to know where to put their toys and we don't have them lost hopefully thank you all so much for watching and tune in next time see you soon